Hey welcome back. So I got a video for y'all today on the Balm Meat Matte Palettes. So I have all three of them here. I have Meat Matte Nude, Meat Matrimony is that one, and then Meat Matador. So I thought that I would run through the different ones, show you some swatches, kind of talk about the differences between them, and let you know which one I really like or which ones I really like and which ones I would recommend for different people. So yeah, let's get to it. So the retail price on these palettes is $42, but I've actually purchased all three of mine during the Balm sales. They'll do like flash 24 hour, typically 50% off sales. So I just follow them on Instagram so that I can keep track of that. And that's when I'll purchase one or two things from them. So that's when I've gotten mine. So that makes them $21, which is much more affordable, but retail price, they're $42 and you get 25.5 grams in here. The packaging on these palettes is absolutely adorable. I love the Balm's packaging. They just have the cutest branding. It's very kind of like vintage-y looking and just cute. So there is Meat Matte Nude, and then we have Meat Matrimony. There is that one, and then the back looks like that. And then we have Meat Matador, and there is that one. So they all kind of have like a similar look to them, but they're slightly different. So there's the packaging and then you open it up and you have um, nine different shades. So that's kind of the layout of the palette. And there is a nice big mirror up there, which is really great. And then with each palette, it comes with a little outside sleeve. So it looks exactly like the palette, but it's just a little sleeve that it, you know, slides into. So I actually only have Meat Matador left. Normally I keep all my packaging or a lot of my packaging, but I only have it for this. I didn't keep the outside little sleeve for Meat Matte Nude or Meat Matrimony. Who am I? So looking at what you get in each palette. So first starting with Meat Matte Nude. So this one is, and these are all matte palettes, so that's something to know about them. They're all matte, there's no shimmers, no metallics, no anything other than matte in these palettes. Now in Meat Matte Nude, this one is just a very neutral palette. Um, it does have quite a few kind of like cooler tone colors. I'm mainly wearing this palette. I think I might, I think I'm wearing all shadows from this palette. I was just feeling kind of like more of a cool tone look today. So I went with um, this one in my crease, a little bit of that one in my outer corner, and I think a little bit of this one too. So I like that there are some cooler shades in here. There's just so many warm tone palettes out. There are still some warm toned colors in here, but there's just so many warm tone palettes out right now. I like when I see some cool tone palettes or cool tone colors in palettes. So this one has some cool tone colors in there, but some nice neutrals, nice dark shades. I do feel like that for each of these palettes, there's like a nice mix of blending shades, but also lighter shades and then deeper shades. So a good balance. So this one is Meet Matrimony. This one is definitely more warm tone. So if you like um, pinky shades, burgundies, warmer tones, this would be the one for you because it's really pretty much all warm toned, but really beautiful. I would say that this one is really like very bridal. I look at this palette and I think of bridal because he's kind of like sweet, um, just soft, especially in here. These are very soft, but then you have some of these for deepening up the outer corner or even for a smoky eye if it's for a different occasion but a bride may want a smoky eye, who knows? So anyway, it just looks like a very bridal palette to me. So, so pretty. Then we have Meet Matador. And in this one, this is kind of like a, almost like a collection of the two of them. Like, it feels like a very kind of interesting mix of colors. I would say that this is the most interesting of the three and probably will take a little bit more I don't know, experimenting and maybe stepping out of your comfort zone to figure out some looks to do with this palette um, because you do have a lot of like neutral shades up here. Those would be like really easy to figure out what to do with just, you know, in your crease, a smoky eye, whatever. And then you have some shades down here that are pretty dark. So there's a dark green, a dark blue, and then um, pretty much just a matte black color. So really an interesting looking palette with this one. Okay, now for some swatches. So we're gonna start with Meat Matte Nude. So there is a closer look at Meat Matte Nude. We're gonna run through the different colors. So first off over here, this is the top row of the palette. We have Matt Johnson, Matt Garcia, Matt Malloy, Matt Rosen, Matt Wood, Matt Singh, Matt Abdul, Matt Lombardi, 
and matte hung. So there are all of those really pretty shades. I really like those kind of like gray, blue, purpley, smoky kind of colors. I think those are really, really beautiful in this palette. That white is really nice. I do have the white on my lid today. This is a really nice palette. As far as texture goes, like all of them just have a really nice feel to them. Um, I'm just doing a quick little Matte Abdul is maybe a little bit grittier, but the rest of them have a really nice texture to them. That's something that is that I've noted or I've noticed about each of these palettes is there's kind of some differences in the texture of the different shadows in these palettes. So just know that, that they kind of like vary, but I would say in this one overall, they're really nice as far as texture goes. Next we have Meet Matrimony. So this is the more warm tone, very brightly looking palette. Now I do notice a lot more texture issues in this palette mostly these over here. So the kind of like burgundy purpley sort of colors, they have like a grittiness to them. Um, I notice it just slightly with these, but mainly these over here. These two are fine and these are pretty good, but I just notice it mainly with these. It's just a little bit grittier of a texture, but I do notice that like burgundies and kind of reddish shades tend to be that way. Not always, but in a lot of brands, it seems to be really common that those sort of colors have a grittier texture for some reason. Okay, so let's start right here. This is Matte Lynn, Matte Thomas, Matte Rossi. This one is Matte Lopez, Matte Kumar, Matte Mos Moskowitz, Moskowitz, Matte Evans, Matte Reed, and Matte Ahmed. So you can see there is kind of some patchiness, especially in swatches um, with this palette, especially with those that had that grittier texture. They just have a little bit of a patchy look in a swatch. And then lastly, we have Meet Matador. So as far as texture issues in this one, slight texture issues with this creamy shade, lots of texture issues with this one. This one is just a crumbly, chunky mess. It really is difficult to work with, it goes everywhere, but I did use it on my eyes one day and I liked how it looked on the eyes. So it worked a lot better on the eyes, but when you're like working with a shadow, swatching it, trying to get it on your brush, it just crumbles everywhere. So it's difficult to work with, but it is a pretty color. So, okay, swatches for this one. We've got Matte Rousseau, Matte Bernard, Matte Munoz, Matte Jones, Matt Williams, Matt Johansson. Did I say that right? Johansson. Over here, this is Matt Soto, Matt Borsky, and Matt Lee. So a little bit of patchiness in the swatches again, um, but I wanna talk more about that in a second. So just look at the swatches. You can see that there is some patchiness just looking at them in a swatch. Now let's talk about texture and the performance on these shadows. So as far as texture goes, just like I was mentioning when I was running through the different swatches, there are some texture issues here. Some of these shadows have a really gritty, um, just kind of a strange, not very soft or buttery feeling texture to them. Um, I noticed that the most with Meet Matrimony, there's definitely the most in here, just a couple in Meet Matador. And I would say texture wise, this one is the best. I really didn't notice any shadows in here that had that kind of gritty sort of feeling texture. And with that gritty feeling, there are some swatching issues. Like they don't look very great in a swatch, but I will say that I feel like with those shadows in these palettes, they're kind of those makeup products that might not feel that great to the touch, might not swatch that great, but they work a lot better on the face. I feel like a lot of blushes are like that. Like they just might swatch like poop, but then you get them on your face and they look a lot better. So I do feel like that's like kind of the case with these, that they don't look that great in a swatch, some of them, the ones with that gritty texture. They don't feel that great, but they work a lot better on the eyes. But overall, I would much rather work with the ones in here that have that buttery, nice feeling texture. And then overall performance on these palettes, I think is really good. I really do enjoy these palettes. You know, with those more gritty feeling shadows, what I found is if I just put down a primer and then go in with one of those, they tend to stick and they need more blending. So what I found is if I put some, like some kind of a um, skin colored 
um, eyeshadow down first then it sort of like gives it a base to be able to blend on top of so that's a way to help those um, but I love working with the ones that are super buttery but all of them I find that they're super long wearing that's why I really do like how these perform they're just great base shadows to be able to mix with a bunch of other you know metallics or shimmery shades or whatever but today I just have on just these palettes. I don't have any other shadows on. I don't have any kind of metallic or whatever shadows on. And I really like the look. So they're really beautiful by themselves too. So those gritty ones might need a little bit of extra working with, but they do still perform and work on the eyes. They might just take a little bit of tweaking in your application, but the other ones are really easy to work with. They blend really nicely. They wear really well throughout the day. They're great to use by themselves, but also pair with other ones. So overall, I really do like these. My overall favorite of the three is the Meat Matte Nude. I just find this one to be the easiest to work with as far as texture goes. And I really do like the collection of colors in here. I like that there are just a few warm tones, but then some really pretty cool tones as well. I do really like Meat Matrimony also, especially once you get it on the eyes. It looks really pretty on the eyes, that kind of like you know, very warm, bridally sort of a look. I would say Meet Matador is probably my least favorite of the three, but I do still like it. I mean, I'm, I love having the collection of all three of them, but if I had to pick number wise, this is my favorite, that's my second favorite, and that's probably my least favorite. All right guys, so that wraps up this look into the Balm's Meet Matte palettes. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below which your favorite of the three would be or what your opinion is on these palettes. I would love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.